Tonight, construction is ramping up in the Heights area, causing traffic and confusion for drivers. Now, you've likely seen it if you've been driving along both Durham and North Shepherd Drive, just south of 610. Fox 26 is Matthew Seedorf is live for us here tonight with what the project is and how long it will last. Matthew. Well, Anthony, take a look at this. Shepherd Drive right now down to two lanes, but also look at all of this construction equipment outside of this popular restaurant in the Heights. And tonight, like other businesses in the area, they want people to know that they are still open. Construction crews busy cutting and digging two major roads in Houston's Heights. Traffic crawling south of 610 on both North Shepherd Drive and Durham. Sometimes it's down to one lane, and those days are pretty tough. I mean, in theory, it should be like a five minutes to get anywhere around here, and it can take like 20 or 30. Unfortunately, we are losing parking spots up front that was very convenient for our customers. The parking lot at Alma now lost to road work. One of at least two businesses on Shepherd with bright yellow signs telling customers they're open during construction. There is a lot of uh, obstruction with the bulldozers and the bulkheads and all that good stuff. So um, it's a challenge, but again, you know, we'll get through it. As a separate construction project ends after two years further south on Shepherd, this one ramps up. The estimated $115 million plan focusing on a two and a half mile stretch of roads between I-10 and 610 adding wider sidewalks, bike lanes, and flood prevention efforts. All of the construction expected to finish in fall of 2025. I've been here 16 years. I've had to change my whole routine to go everywhere. Emma noticing less customers this last month because of the construction. Hoping their food and signs keep customers coming back through the road work. We have a very loyal customer base here in the Heights. We've been in here 20 years already and just taking it day by day. So it's going to be a little while again. This project expected to finish in fall of 2025. We're live in the Heights tonight. Matthew Seedorf, Fox 26 News. All right, Matthew. Nice to have you back, buddy.